hey everyone welcome back again so today in this video we will be continuing this tutorial we will be adding some materials to our uh, 3d models and then setting up lights in our scene so let's just begin this so the first thing i will gonna do i'm just gonna select this box and make a separate collection for this so hit m and then create new collection i'm just gonna name this box and uh, let's just disable this collection and focus on this bottle so select this bottle go to the material properties create new material name this bottle and for this i'm just gonna change the base color to bit little to gray and then i'm just gonna change the metallic to 0 0.65 roughness to 0 0.35 and then clear code to 1 all right i'm gonna use the same material for this cap also so just click on the cap and choose the same material which we created all right one more thing i just forgot to do in last video so i'm just gonna do it now really quickly so click on this cap and then move it on a z axis a little bit then select this bottom vertices now i'm just gonna extrude this up so e and then i'm just gonna hit s along with that to extrude this inside and then i'm just gonna hit hit e one more time and then move it on a z axis all right now i'm gonna add one loop cut over here and slide it down to tight the edges okay now go to the front view move it down disable this we just don't need this right now okay that's about the bottle now i'm just gonna add materials for our box so select this box create a new material name this box material one and for this i'm gonna go with something gray keep it gray and then just add the same material for this mesh also so i'm just gonna select this mesh go to the material and choose the material which we created now i'm gonna add um image on bottle and on this box so what i'm gonna do quickly i'm just gonna open photoshop and then i'm just gonna add a text and we'll keep the background transparent and then just export this as a png okay now go to the blender again and here i'm just gonna disable this box i'm gonna quickly select this bottle and move it to the 3d cursor now let's add a image as a plane so hit shift plus a go to the image and add a images as planes so i'm gonna choose this and add it scale it up and then rotate it on a x axis so r then x and then hit 90 I'm also gonna rotate this on y axis so r y and then again 90 okay and then select it and move it over here okay now go to the front view move it down reduce the scale move it again down and keep it here all right now i'm just gonna go to modifier and then here i'm gonna add a subdivision modifier and i'm gonna keep levels to three and also click on this option which is basically this will just uh, keep the corners straight and uh, not like this round shape so i'm just gonna click on this simple option and let's add one more modifier so here i'm just gonna use shrink wrap to wrap this uh, image around this bottle so add a shrink wrap modifier and then choose the target this cylinder 
so it automatically wraps it around now as you can see it's not visible so let's change the offset to something 0 0.0 0 0.01 all right now it's visible now let's move it on in this collection and enable box and just disable this collection so for the box i'm just gonna use the same image so i'm gonna duplicate that so shift d to duplicate that remove this target move it in this collection disable this collection click on this move it at front and then scale it big to the size of box all right that's enough now i'm gonna go and uh, select this box as a target and now i'm just gonna add one more one more material to this box so i'm gonna go to the material properties hit on this plus icon create new material i'm gonna call this box material 2 okay and uh, i'm gonna keep the base color to something over here we'll change the material metallic property to 0 0.5 roughness to 0 0.3 and then let's just quickly go to the edit mode add one loop cut in the middle bevel this and keep it here now go to the edge select mode and then select this edge and this edge bevel this again and go to the material and then assign this new material which we created so i'm just gonna hit assign all right now let's uh, quickly set up the lights in our scene so i'm just gonna disable this box and gonna enable this bottle let's also change this name to something bottle okay now i just don't want this right now so i'm just gonna delete this now let's add a light so first we will add a area light so go to the light and then choose area move it up on a z-axis over here and i'm gonna change its power to something really high and size to i guess 12 will be fine and let's quickly go to the render properties change this eve to cycles and device to gpu if you have graphics card then change this to gpu i already have so one more thing i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go to this world properties and will make this completely dark so select this and hit zero this is completely dark this is completely dark background is completely dark now one more thing we want to change is just go to this render properties and under in color management click on this option look and change it to very high contrast now we will be adding two point lights so let's go to the top view add one point light and move it over here go to the light properties i'm gonna change it this to 700 i'm also gonna increase the radius to something 3.5 and move it over here okay now quickly duplicate this and move it back side okay now let's add area light again so hit shift a go to the light add area light i'm gonna rotate this to x axis so hit r then x then 90 okay now move it over here 
now i'm gonna quickly change this shape to rectangle now select this and make it big on a z axis okay just a little bit more and change the power to something thousand all right now go to the top view duplicate this and quickly change this from median point to 3d cursor and i'm gonna rotate this so hit r and then rotate this and keep it over here i'm gonna duplicate this one more time then hit r and then rotate this and keep it over here okay now i'm gonna select this light and i'm just gonna change its shape a little bit and let's also select this light and change its shape okay that is good let's see this in front view okay that's really good now i'm just gonna go to the top view i'm gonna select this and move it a little bit back here select this one also move it a little bit back and i'm gonna go to the front view select this top area light and move it z axis now let's check this again yeah this is really good so let's just enable this box and see this also from front view one more thing let's uh, go to this collection and select this i am gonna change it some some properties so here i'm gonna go with something 0.5 roughness to 0.3 and uh, clear code to 1 So that's pretty much for this video in the next video we will do 3d animation and uh, yeah that's it uh, if you enjoy then give it a like if you are new subscribe to this channel and turn on bell notifications to get notified when i upload next video and also check out us on patreon to support us and get printed files in return all right i will see you in the next video bye